Yeah. It's the wreck report. Rakan's in the building. Giving you the raw and uncut. You know how I do. Sit back. Relax. Welcome to my world. We getting it in. Let's get this started. It's the wreck report. Hey, hey, what's going on, y'all? Man, since we're still on the old, on the breaking points uh, portions of uh, of the wreck report, I'm gonna hit you with another story. Uh, another thing that happened at another store, another place of business, and you know how people react is just it's just hilarious to me, man. And I felt I need to share because I didn't want to write this in my book. I was just like, it, it was more of me being, you know, observing what's going on and just being like, dude, people are just, people are just ridiculous. So let me just jump right on into it. I'm, I'm not going to take that much of your time today. It's, this is a crazy situation. I, it was a Sunday, it was a Sunday afternoon and, uh, you know, my, my sister hit me up and was like, yo, she had a, she had a coupon. She wanted to get some, she wanted to get like some Popeyes. Shout out to Popeyes and all that. I still never, I still haven't had their chicken sandwich or anything like that. But still, shout out to Popeyes and all that sort of thing. Cause this happens out of Popeyes. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'll hit you up. I'll drive you over there and all of those type of stuff so that you can, you know, get this, you know, she had, I guess she had a pretty decent coupon. So we get there. And uh, we go through the drive-thru. And the drive-thru is like, the, the the lady who's doing the intercom, she's like, yo, uh, it's going to be a 30-minute wait, you know what I'm saying, for drive-thru items. So it was a long line. Like I said, this is a Sunday afternoon, roughly 2.30, 3 o'clock or whatever. So I was like, if you want to wait, you want to wait. That means, okay, place your order. We'll pull over and then either sit in the car, which was, it was like a super hot summer day. So it was like, nah, I wasn't in the car. We'll go inside and just sit in there, you know, while they making the order and then we'll grab our stuff. So it kept hearing all this other stuff and I'm hearing these other cars, you know, like, what? 30 minutes? This is a drive through So once we went inside, I had to figure out, we was like, okay. Everybody was, they basically was able to explain in detail about what happened is that they ran out of chicken so they had to make more understandable it happens sunday whatever people came in and you know they basically oversold their stuff so they had to you know it was a wait it was just a wait to you know to get your food so it was a nice amount of people up in there and it was you know a couple of church folks just random people this super size huge cat you know what i'm saying but the the attitude that they was giving the giving these uh these women that these women or these people that was behind the counter because it was they didn't have they only had a certain amount of people I guess they didn't expect the overflow of of uh of orders so they didn't have enough people they didn't have a lot of people back there like cooking and serving so these part these people out here on the other side of this glass is sitting up here renting at these uh at these cashiers and be like, why y'all do this? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense that, that, that it's the 30 minute wait. Blah, blah. I keep, like, and once I keep, I keep telling y'all, I keep stressing it. Stop messing with people that, that, that man, you, that make your food. If it's cooking, cooking it, manufacturing it, put it together, stop bothering. It. Just let them, if it takes time, let it take time. When she, when they told me what happened, it was like, we're making more. So it's going to be a nice wait cool i'm respect that regardless of what time of the day it is it doesn't really matter so wait is a wait you can either wait or you don't so some of these people they chose to wait it was people in there it was a it was a lady like she was in that she was literally like crying because her order was taking so long like you're that, like you're that hungry, or you're that starving. You're starving that much that you're like, I can't believe that. Just, just like some, some, you know, situation when it's coming down to fast food, it's not fast. It takes time. Other dude, like I said, the big dude I was talking about. This dude, man, it's crazy. 
and in my mind, I'm like, yo, bro, you don't even need no, you don't even need no chicken. You don't even supposed to be, you shouldn't even be in here. You don't need no extra food, bro. And you complaining because it ain't coming no faster, bro. You, you need to, you need to stop. You need to just, been, you should have took this as a sign of saying, no, nah, I don't want it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat fried food in abundance today, or this might be the sign for me to get myself together. It's like people were literally losing their mind. Now, me, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, well, maybe, maybe a, a church came in hours, you know, before, placed a huge order, or basically was like, they made an order, and they basically just, they snatched up everything. They snatched up all that they can get. Maybe it was a, you know, whatever, whatever, a, a gathering or whatever. And... They basically bought up that supply. So they had to basically just, you know, the people had to just replenish their stock. What can I say? We all, we all in all, we all had a choice of staying or leaving or just basically, it was a couple of people that came up was like, it's taking too long. Give me my money, give me my money back. And they left, you know, and okay, you can do that. But like I said, I was there. It didn't really matter to me. I was like, okay, I got time. You know what I'm saying? I'm hitting the gym later, but let's let's do this right now. Let's get this out the way. You want you want this, you know, families, you want it. So I was like, cool, let's just go. You know what I'm saying? So the wait was gonna wait. Like I said, me being in the in the industry, I don't mind waiting. It's no problem. It was it was like I said, out of it had to be about a good 15, 20 people in there. So everybody who was making orders, they told they made the announcement. It's going to be at least a half an hour for your order. It, it's just gonna, that's just what it is. Oh man, it don't make no sense. It's just, yeah, it does. Things happen. They had to, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta replenish their supply. You know, they got cooks back there doing their thing. It don't even matter. I wouldn't even say it wouldn't even, it wasn't the amount of people that they had working there. It didn't matter. Somebody came in, bought them out, you know what I'm saying? And basically, they could have closed the door. They could have locked the doors for about 20 minutes or about an hour just to replenish that stuff and then open the doors back up. But it would have been it would have been a problem then. What y'all doing closed at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday? Yeah, stuff like that. So it was one of the moments. And like I said, it was so it was it was so much trash talk about about these these uh these workers and it wasn't their fault. So it, it, it bothers me. Like I said, it, it, it just bothers me that I said, I, I was like, man, this don't make no sense. Why y'all tripping? Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know the circumstances of why, you know, they're out or why their their supply is low that they got to, you know, they got to basically re like it's a reason for all this stuff. But nobody cares. They want what they want now. It's what you call that instant gratification. Usually when you go into places like this. You know, saying they had your order ready in, you know, and and I don't know, a couple of minutes. But I look at it more on a positive level. I'm just like, wait a minute, which means if we're ordering this food, if my sister's ordering this food, we're ordering this food, it's gonna be fresh. I mean, it's coming fresh off of the out of the grill or the fryer or whatever. It's gonna be fresh. I mean, that's that's kind of what you want. You don't want your you don't want to have your food on display, and then when you order it, they just picking they go over there and pick your stuff off and all the other type of stuff. Like no, you have a you're in a rare uh, position right now that you're able to get some fresh, freshly cooked food from a restaurant. I mean, from a fast food restaurant that is. It's not prepackaged. It's all. It's like they gotta start off and just do this. I'm thinking like, damn, that it's gonna be, damn, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tight. Like a lot of people, you know, you know when people order food and they like, well, I don't want this. I want you to make me a fresh one, stuff like that. You getting fresh this, dude? Between the lady over there crying, cause he's like, I supposed to be in, in this and like your appointment, yo, check it out. Go to your appointment. Come back later, you know. Learn how to cook. Do something to the point of like, why are you whining over something that you stop? Oh, dude. Certain things you cannot control. You can't control other people. You can't control what other people do or say or whatever. Only thing you can control is what you do. 
That's that's the beauty of what we have. You could have easily been like, no, nah, I'm gonna come back. I'll come back in a couple of hours. Maybe it would have been it would have been smoothed out by then. I'll come back after I take care of this appointment. Well, you know, it was everybody was trying to get extra stuff. It was like, could I get an extra uh, uh, mashed potatoes or whatever because I gotta wait? Can I get an extra bisque? Like, no, bro. Like, just wait. Wait the wait, and you'll be just fine. Or just come back. So I'm in here, and I'm I'm trying to keep a level head, and I'm I'm you know I'm trying to keep a level, just a mindset of just being like, people in here stupid. <laughs> it's just food. Learn how to cook your own. Dude, I go to I go to back go to Moon Oink or whatever little spots that they sell stuff. I fry my own food, and probably you can, but it's like, yo, do that. Stop whining to these people like it's they fault. Y'all need some more people behind the counter. It don't matter. The food's still not gonna get done faster. And I'm not. I don't want anybody when you when you're cooking food. I don't want you rushing my food. I don't want you pressing up food or or kicking the fire up extra high just so it'll be it'll be it'll be cook right and it'd be like raw in the middle like I, I believe in well done it's just one of the moments it's like this is the breaking point like yo people want to snap and you give them enough reason to to to, to really kind of flip off and it's like especially like i said the people behind the counter they just doing their job it's not cool man it's not cool but you got these you know you got customers that are just like trying to they, they're bullying they're trying to intimidate these people like man what y'all gonna do i gotta wait a half an hour you're gonna wait what you want me to do i can give you a, i can give you a a, a a bucket full of full of raw food a raw chicken you know what i'm saying but it has to take time to be cooked people are so used to instant now not cool you know and guess regardless of all these people who are like this don't this is weak it don't make no sense they need more people and all this whining about your food not being done or not being ready in a timely fashion as you that you want it guess who leading the charge the big the the, the big dude i was talking about the big supersized man this mark leading the charge man we we need to just I mean, we just need to stop coming here man stop you ain't gonna stop coming there you, you you ain't finna stop coming. You know what I'm saying? Quit trying to rally people up so they can, man, we, man, we, this don't make no, we can protest, man, and write them a letter. Like, why are you quick to complain, you, man, man, I was sitting up here trying to hold my own or trying to hold my tongue to be like, yo, you, you, you shouldn't even be here, bro. You are like two steps from, man, cardiac arrest or whatever the situation, bro, stop. Stop it. I mean, we ain't talk this man. I'm like, man, dude, you you keep them in business. You ain't going nowhere. You gonna you gonna get your food when you eventually win. Eventually everybody got their stuff and and I don't know. Once my our order came, we got our stuff and uh we got ready and then we ended up leaving. But it was a lot of people like this, you know what I'm saying, a half an hour. Like eventually they got themselves back into a thing and 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 you know tragedy averted. Everybody, if you've been in, in anybody that I know, if you've been in the, the the food service industry and some way somehow you end up getting behind, whether it whether if it's a regular like a mid mid level or mid level or top tier restaurant or anything, everybody knows when stuff gets behind. You know, saying the cook is 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 you know. He doing his thing or she's doing her thing or whatever and orders getting bagged up it happens you know what i'm saying it's all about how you react to that and then when it's over it seems like i mean it seems like oh man i can't believe that just happened but like for a couple of hours when everything just like you got really really crazy you know what i'm saying then you, you live through it so they survived i got I, I got our stuff we got our food my sister we we, we left and you know it was fine to me, you know what I'm saying? But, and those same people who was talking all that all that trash, treating these people like they was treating, treating uh, the, the workers like they was trash, they're they, they going to be back next Sunday. They would have been back the, the following day or whatever. Man, I was, you know, they ain't saying, they ain't showing no accountability. They ain't going to say, man, I was kind of tripping that Sunday, man. I didn't know, I know something that happened and 
you know, it's not your fault and blah, blah, blah. But nah, they, last thing people want to do is just say they sorry about some stuff or say, show, you know, some type of accountability. But anyway, it was entertaining. It was entertaining to me. And like I said, I felt I shared that, man. But yeah, don't be discouraged, man. Popeyes is, is, is pretty good. Like I said, I haven't, I still, years or whatever, I still haven't touched them chicken sandwiches. I mean, too much violence been, was attached to it. That right there alone is that y'all flipping out over some food that I think people end up getting people end up getting killed and, and, and beat up over these sandwiches. I'm like, I'm not trying to, I think I'm trying them type of that, that stuff. Why would I want that? You know, that I'm to a point that if supplies are low, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy and start acting the food. But these people were lacking food because of, because food wasn't readily available to them. Learn how to cook. Learn learn the recipe. Learn how to cook yourself. Stop a lot. Stop waiting for somebody to cook something for you. Stop waiting for somebody to do something for you. Go and do it yourself. Like I'd have been, you know, I'd have went down the street. But like I said, it was it wasn't for me. My sister, she hooked, she she had the hookup. She had the she had the deal, the coupon details. She wanted to make that happen. I ain't got no beef with that. She didn't trip. She didn't trip. I mean, we just sat back and talked and laughed at the other people. So <laughs> it made my day. I just laughed at the other people like, y'all just so stupid. Stop being mad at them. Be mad at yourself. What you doing here? Some of y'all shouldn't be eating this. Some of y'all. Bro, I'm just going to leave it alone. I, I mean, <laughs> do better. Do better when it comes down to just treating people better do yourself do yourself a favor take care of yourself these certain situations and, and that happen in these in these restaurants when people act a food fool over food learn how to cook do something that's gonna get yourself done in that situation and yeah so so stop acting like you uh you starving or you got to wait a little while a little longer for your stuff so but anyway like i said shout out to popeyes like i said uh i don't eat I, like i said shot them out they, they they have some pretty good food i don't eat there regularly or anything like that but still shout them out because it happened at they at their establishment this happened things happen everybody handled themselves appropriately and uh you're still here so, and that was the thing I was letting, letting them know back there. Like, yo, you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be all right. This, this, this storm will pass. You know, the people behind the counter, they knew. They was like, yeah, this happened. This, this happened before. The people who, on the other side, the customers, trash. Ignorant trash. Stop trying to, oh, man, just stop. Stop. I see y'all when I see y'all, man. Just, you know. Learn to treat people better, man. Live, love, life, man. You know, just got to do better. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. But maybe, you know, you got a crazy story like that, that, you know, things happen. It's just, you have to realize stuff happens, man. So stop being so emotionally engaged in stupid stuff that you, you know, you're sitting up here, you're, you're going through the motions of trying to make people feel bad. You're timid, like... Everybody wanted an extra biscuit. Everybody wanted some extra mashed potatoes or something. I'm waiting. Like, I ain't got to, you know, you're not, it's not your convenience. You can go. But nah, it's always somebody trying to get some extra stuff. Like, man, y'all need the next, the next time y'all need to just, you know, and I think they probably accommodated a couple of people, which was cool. But I was like, still, when you demand, when you start making those type of demands of like, you know, Stuff like that, it, it, it's, it's, it's tragedy. I don't like that. That's not cool with me. Rep Report.